Sons and Daughters of God for April 19. The reading is entitled, Changes are Constant Complaining to Praise. The scripture reading is taken from Psalm 107, verse 8. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. We are heaven-bound, and we should show the attractive part of our faith. We should not go as a crippled band of mourners, groaning and complaining all along the way to our Father's house. Those professed Christians who are constantly complaining, who seem to think happiness and a cheerful countenance a sin, have not the genuine attributes of religion. Those who look upon nature's beautiful scene as they would upon a dead picture, who choose to look upon dead leaves rather than to gather the beautiful flowers, who take a mournful pleasure in all that is melancholy in the language spoken to them by the natural world, who see no beauty in valleys clothed in living green and grand mountain heights clothed with verdure, who close their senses to the joyful voice that speaks to them in nature. These are not in Christ. Suppose we change this order of things. Suppose you try to count all your blessings. You have thought so little upon them, and they have been so continual that when reverses or afflictions come, you are grieved and think God is unjust. You do not call to mind how little gratitude you have manifested for all the blessings of God. You have not deserved them, but because they have flowed in upon you day by day, year by year, you have looked upon them as a matter of course thinking it was your right to receive every advantage and give nothing in return. The blessings of God are more than the hairs of your head, more than the sands of the seashore. Meditate upon his love and care for us, and may it inspire you with love that trials cannot interrupt nor afflictions quench. If we could only see the many dangers from which we are daily preserved by the holy angels, instead of complaining of our trials and misfortunes, we would talk continually of the mercies of God. Thank you for listening.